Hey guys, for lesson one of your statistics assignment, we're going to be going through how to find measures of centre today. So when we talk about measures of centre, we're talking about uh, where our data actually sits in relation to one another and where the middle of our data is. So we're going to be basically talking about three different measures of centre today. We've got the mean, the median and the mode. Hopefully those are things that you guys will remember having um, having learnt in class. Um, we'll also be just having a quick look at another one called range, which again, we've had a look at in class. Hopefully um, this will help to refresh your memory a bit. So the first measure of centre we're going to look at is the mean, which we've spoken about before, but basically means the average. So the average uh, test score that we're looking at today, so the average test score from 11 students, so from a class of 11 students. So let's have a look at what how we find the mean. So first of all, to find the mean, we need to add all the pieces of data together. So we're gonna plus them all together. Um, once we've plus them all together, we're then gonna divide by the number of data points in the set of data. So at the moment, we've got five, six, seven, seven, 10, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 out of 20 as my test scores. Now, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven test scores there, meaning that eleven students have taken this test. So, according to my uh, little description here of how to find it, we first need to find out what they all add up to. So, all those numbers, when I add them together, they make one hundred and seventeen. So, all these numbers, when they add them together, make one hundred seventeen. My next little bit. Then I've got to divide by the total number of data in the set. We said before that uh, the total number of data in the set, there was 11 students who took the test. So what I'm going to do with 117 is I'm going to divide that number by 11. And that gives me a total, oh, well, an average of 10.63636363 recurring. But as I know, Normally speaking, we don't like to use recurring numbers when, we've, when we're trying to find an answer to something. So what I'm going to do instead of 0 0.63636363 is I'm just going to round to two decimal places. So 10.64. And that's how we find the mean. So my next measure of center is go, we're going to look at is the median. So the median, instead of being the average, it's actually just the middle number. Now, in some cases, it is a better representation of where the data lies because it doesn't really take into account very extreme values, either, either extremely small or whether they're extremely big. So the median um, is simply found like this. So the middle piece of data in an ordered set, you'll notice that I've got ordered underlined there. It's really important that I have my test scores in this example ordered from smallest to biggest. So. I've already got them in order. If your data isn't in order, take a couple of moments just to pop it in order before you start this because we do need to find, uh, have an ordered set in order to find the median. So like we said, with the mean, we've got 11 pieces of data. So I'm gonna have basically five at the lower end, five at the upper end, and I'm gonna be left with the middle number. So let's take a look at that. So I have my test scores. Test scores of five, six, seven, seven, and 10 were my lower five. 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12 were my upper five, meaning that the number 12, that 12 there, the first 12 is gonna be my median. So real simple stuff, 12 is my median. Uh, we'll use this skill a little bit later on as well in uh, one of the following lessons, one of the following tasks, because we do need to find uh, the median in a five-point summary. So make sure you just keep this video in the back of your minds for when we're doing our five-point summaries as well, when we're going to look at uh, maximums, minimums, medians, as well as lower quartiles and upper quartiles. Finally, the last... Uh, measure of center that we're going to be looking at is the mode. Now this one's actually really, really easy to find, so I won't, I won't go on for too long about it, but the mode is simply this, the most frequently occurring uh, 
piece of data or pieces of data, which in this case we have a couple. So when we look at the term frequent, so the most frequent, the highest frequency, the one that happens most often. So in our pieces of data here, you can see that we've got a couple of sevens and a couple of twelves. So the mode for this one, for this set of data, is going to be both seven and twelve because we see them the most. Finally, this uh, the last little bit of this video, I just want to dedicate to something we call the range. Now, it's not necessarily a measure of center, but the range is still something that we talk about in statistics. So within my, uh, my class of 11 students, we had a bottom score of five and a top score of 16. What the range is, is the difference between the largest and the smallest pieces of data. So when I use the term difference, what is the difference between the largest and the smallest? I'm actually talking about minus, so subtracting those numbers. So the difference between the largest being 16 and the smallest being five is going to be 16 minus five. So range is going to be 16 minus five. Simple stuff, 16 take five, we're going to be left with 11. So our, the range in uh, our test scores was 11. Hopefully that helps you out with lesson one of your st statistics assignment applied. So good luck with it.